and I lied to the police to cover for Tenma. The only relevant thing here is that the police confirmed her identity. But in this case, she actually used the name Anna Liebert, because she couldn't show her ID, I guess. That would say Nina Fortner afterwards. So, is there someone that covered her? Indeed, there is. Otherwise, Naoki wouldn't have gone out of his way to make the cops her name. This guy tells us that he acted as her guardian this time. I guess he got away with that, which, considering German bureaucracy, he really shouldn't have. Or he would at least be found out later. If Anna's on the run again by that time, it doesn't really matter, I guess. So, we'll just say this works. What doesn't quite work, though, is that she seems surprised to see him. If she didn't know that he was here, she should have been worried here. And if she did, she shouldn't be surprised here. Anyway, Anna and Rosso eat breakfast, then we get a series of flashbacks explaining who he is. I'm going to make this quick. Rosso is an ex-assassin, now a restaurant owner, Anna worked for him during the time skip. Don't worry, I'll elaborate later. And because Anna is a good girl and brilliant waitress, the restaurant flourishes. Cut back to reality, where Rosso talks about his favorite movie and explains what Venice is. After another redundant flashback, we get the info that Rosso figured out that Anna is Nina Fortner after she left. Anna always knew that Rosso was an assassin, which is why she wanted to learn from him, but gave that up when she saw what a good man and brilliant restaurant owner he had become. Rosso says that he never knew the taste of anything while he was a hitman, because his character is supposed to push some nonsense about your senses being numb if you do evil or some shit, which is just nonsense, there are some wild people enjoying life to its fullest. Or is this just trying to tell me that Rosso was born a good man, so he could never enjoy being bad? Just as dumb, and a pretty childish world we're on top of that. I have no clue which brand of stupid Naoki is going for this time, which is the third time this has happened in the show now. If you wonder how Anna figured out that Rosso is a hitman, a non-specific law professor at the university had that as a theory, and she just took the chance. We'll just take that, I guess. She never actually asked the question though, which, yes, means that this would have never come out if Rosso didn't decide to confess here, but it's a nice bonding moment, I guess. Anyway, here is the backstory. Rosso was picked up as a kid by the organization, possibly the same one as Wolf, you know, the organization. Then, with very unfitting music, Rosso explains why he stopped killing. ま、ビルマのカフェだった。何人目になるか知らないどこかの誰かさんに俺は照準を合わせたんだ。So basically he was going to shoot a guy, but the guy put five spoonfuls of sugar in his coffee. And that made Rosso somehow realize the taste of coffee. So he puts down the gun and leaves. By the way, if you wonder what the organization did when the best hitman decided to quit the job, it's never addressed. <laughs> 